to my channel if you are new here hello my name is Katie I live in Orlando and I make all like shop with me videos anything to do with like home decor target home goods if you love stuff like that you're definitely gonna love it here so make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button down below if you are not new here if you're a Katie Vining veteran you definitely know what today is it is Tuesday so every Tuesday on my channel is Target Tuesday I love Target we love Target if you love Target definitely make sure you stick around and hit that subscribe button Valentine's Day just passed for me a couple weeks later from when you're seeing this but that means it was officially the Easter reset that in like Target lingo means that all the Valentine's Day stuff was pushed to one place for clearance and all of the Easter stuff is officially out and ready to be shopped and ready for me to officially show everything to you I've showed you some of it so far but this is gonna be like a full breakdown of all the Easter stuff that they're selling this year at Target I want to say as well I get a lot of comments that are like my Target never has this stuff your Target is so stocked which Target is this is this a super Target to be honest with you not all of my videos, but some of my videos when it comes to like holiday decor, dollar spot stuff, are actually filmed over several days and at several targets. So that's like a little bit of a like cheat little hint behind the scenes for you because sometimes I'm not able to find everything too. So basically I just go to a bunch of different targets until I find stuff. I have, you know, made friends with some of the people that work at Target and they'll let me know like, oh, we're planning on stocking this on this day. And I guess it just kind of comes with the territory of me being at Target every single day. But yeah, the behind the scenes is, it's not that there's anything wrong with your Target because sometimes like my home Target is like the last ones to be stocked, which is the Target I'm at today. It's like the last Target to be stocked with Easter stuff. I've seen people all over Instagram, which is also where I get a ton of my info. I will leave all the accounts that I love to follow down below for like Target spoilers, clearance, that sort of thing. But that's how I know what to look for because they get lucky or people will send in like oh this is a new Easter thing and then they'll post it so then I know what to look for so I will leave the list of the accounts down below but that's a little bit of the behind the scenes for you when it comes to those questions that I get all the time but let's head into Target and check out all of the 2021 Easter decor that they have this year I'm so excited I just actually noticed they finally changed out like the bullseye playground decor to Easter stuff so it has like little chicks and little eggs and it's more like pastel color I just noticed. I love all this new like theming that they have. It's so cute. This is the one with like his little butt. And then he's like in the front of this one. But like look at the cute little eggs. It reminds me a lot of It's a Small World at Disney World. Okay, so these are new to me. This is actually so cute. It comes with a print. And I actually really, really like this a lot. I like the way that it looks. And it is only $3. So I'm probably going to go ahead and pick one of these up. They also have this one that says Wonderful as well. But these are the only two options that they have. This one's really cute. So she's coming home with me. This is also the first time I have seen these little egg holders. It's the only one they have and it's broken, but these are adorable. Oh my gosh, I finally found the carrots. I'm so excited, I've been looking for these everywhere. Brian's stepmom picked me up three in Seattle, so I'm gonna pick up three more, one of each color. That's the last yellow one that they have, but look at these guys, aren't they so precious? I'm obsessed and they're only a dollar a piece. Another thing that's here that I hadn't seen yet was these little candles that say Happy Easter, Bunny Kisses, and Hello Spring. These are really, really nice too, and these are $3 a piece. This is my first time finding these decorative wood eggs. For three bucks, they have a ton of them, so I guess they probably just put them out today, but these are super cute. I have not seen these before. I've been looking everywhere for these little like happy spring a dollar this one says happy easter it's a dollar this one says bunny kisses and easter wishes also a dollar and then this little house shaped one that's like green just says hello spring i'm definitely getting one each of these i've been looking for these everywhere this is super nice new to me as well in the dollar spot it is five dollars it's like a little metal container with a wooden lid Honestly, this would be perfect for like in the pantry or like little bathroom organization. This is very nice. They have quite a few of them as well. 
I love this, never seen this before. Some dollar spot items that are new to me. This little tiny kid's fedora, so cute. It's like a thick gray color and it does have like a little tie for $3. Also new to me, this little like carrot headband, so it goes straight through your head for a dollar. And then also this little like green sparkly flower one too. Okay, the Spritz Easter blankets are here. They have this really cute like floral one that has little pink and blue orange flowers all over it. This really pretty like blue colored one that has little like yellow flowers. Then they have a corally one that's polka dotted. It's kind of subtle with little bunnies. And then a yellow gingham one, which is so cute. I'm obsessed with yellow gingham. But here are the blankets, all of them, and they are super cute, and I do believe they're only $10 a piece. Some more cute Easter stuff. This is over by like the party section. So I have this like cute floral garland, this little like bunny headband, this little like felt floral wreath for $5, a balloon garland kit, this little like bunny, little like one single banner type thing with a blue tassel. All of this stuff is $5, by the way. Then they have like create your own placemats or color your own placemats. So that's actually really fun, like activity for kids. And then like little party things, so like plates, the little like paper, crinkle paper, garland grass stuff, and then just like some really cute Easter plateware. Some more like arts and crafts, so like color or paint. This little pom-pom bunny wreath kit, that's absolutely adorable for $5. Some tube character kits, little sun catcher kit. We did this all the time when I was a kid. Painted these tiny little sun catchers. We did this all the time. Everything here again is $5. And then some cute little boxes and some like eggs that you can decorate or paint with like stickers. They have like the cardboard ones and then these cute little wooden ones as well. I was going to interrupt the video with a Starbucks break, but I walked over to the Starbucks and it was super busy with like a million people waiting for their drinks and there was only like one other person working there actually making the drinks and I just didn't have the patience for that. And also I went to Starbucks this morning and my home Starbucks was out of cold brew. So I guess I'm just not meant to have Starbucks today, but like I really need it. I feel like my brain is like moving in slow motion. <laughs> I've been on the hunt for this end cap of Opal House stuff for literally a week. This is so adorable, $15 little bunny wreath with a tassel at the bottom, I love that. I love this too, I'm so sad. There's like an egg wreath that's already gone. This little carrot wreath is adorable. Also $15, it's like kind of small though, honestly. It's not like a fully full size wreath, it's not a small wreath either, it's kind of like medium. Then they have this little like bunny with pink tassels. This is also $15. Only comes in the pink tassel color from what I see here. Then they have a lot of really, really cute vase filler. So they have this one that has like little balls and then little like bunnies. And then they have this one which has the little woven, it looks like eggs and it comes in blue as well as in pink. They do have garlands that match because this has little like coral and pink little eggs. And they have one that has all the different colors so you could definitely mix them and then use this garland. The garland is 12 and the vase fillers are 12 as well. This one is so pretty and neutral. They also have these Easter baskets but really you could use them for whatever you want because there's nothing to do with Easter on them for $15. They have a bunch of these little bunnies. They're interesting, they have like black specks all over them. They're $15 each and they are threshold. They're just little bunny figurines. They're not like candles or anything so they have a bunch of those. This pillow is stunning. I haven't seen it, it's kind of like a sunflower. It's embroidered, it's really, really pretty. Then some Easter pillows. I don't think we've seen these ones yet, so these are really cute, super neutral. I love that one. And then yellow if you're trying to do a little bit brighter. And then these ones we have seen, but oh my gosh, those three are so pretty. And then we haven't seen these yet. These are really cute, they're like egg-shaped. I do believe that they are candles. They are egg-shaped candles and they have like bunnies on them and stuff. It was really hard for me to get open, I had to use two hands. These are $10 a piece and it smells really strong, like this is a floral scented one. I could smell it right when I opened it. Didn't even have it up to my nose, it kind of just smacked me in the face. They have it in this like pink color, also in white, and these are all $10, they're pretty small. If 
you can see it compared to my hand. I think it's only like a three ounce candle or something. Soy candle, they smell pretty good, very floral, super cute for the Easter. Some more like spring candles and such, spring flower market. These are some of the Opal House candles, but just in like a little bit cuter of containers. And then this one says Happy Easter with little bunnies. And this one is sweet carrot and apricot scented. What does that smell like? It doesn't smell like carrots, I'll tell you that much. This one's really pretty. I haven't seen the green one yet. I've just seen the pink and white ones like I just showed you. This is really cute though. I like the green ones. One of my most favorite colors. And then this little bunny candle is really cute too. I haven't seen this yet either. This little bunny candle is 10. These are all actually 10. So if you're looking to get the most bang for your buck, these are definitely the biggest. And I can vouch that the Opal House candles are really nice. These I just feel like are more decorative. Another cute little Easter candle item. They're egg shaped, but they do have a little wick if you can see. You do get four of them for $10 a piece. They're like little speckled eggs. It's a pink one, a green one, a little white one, and a blue one. Those are adorable. Be perfect for like little like egg holders or whatever. You could light them if you want, but honestly, I think they're mostly just decorative. These little egg shaped candles also come in like this cream color. So you do get four of them for $10. So they have the colored ones and the cream ones. Okay, this is the most ironic thing ever. Who remembers when I drove an hour to get one of these and now my home Target literally has a million of them. So ironic, so funny. <laughs> I'm still glad I got mine though. It's always so ironic how like something will come back into stock like a million of them after you like scoured or like paid even more for it than you should have because you were so desperate like thinking it wouldn't come back into stock. But then it like won't come back into stock if you're like, oh, it'll come back into stock. Then you'll like never find it. Whatever, no regrets. Okay, the thing I like about this Target store is there's one Target employee that honestly really cares to like make it look really good. Like I just asked him, I'm like, oh, did they tell you to do this? Cause he was like moving everything, like adjusting it. And he was like, no, they just pretty much gave us a chair. And he does it. And like, look how cute it is styled. Like with the basket and the pillow, the perfectly draped blanket with the perfectly matching pillow, the two baskets with the candle. Y'all, my house isn't even this cute. He does such a good job. These are cool, I haven't seen these. This little one is really, really cute. It just has like a little hole at the top, just a cute little tiny vase. It is $10 from Threshold. And then they have a bigger one, which is really pretty too. This one is 15. Haven't seen those yet. These are cool, I haven't seen these. This little one is really, really cute. It just has like a little Hold at the top, just a cute little tiny vase. It is $10 from Threshold. And then they have a bigger one, which is really pretty too. This one is 15. Haven't seen those yet. This is cute and new to me, like a little pedestal bowl. That's really cute. You could use that like in the center of your coffee table for like remotes, that sort of thing. A little candle, a couple of remotes. I think that that would be really, really cute. But yeah, that is new to me. I have not seen that before. It is a little mini pedestal ball. Oh my gosh, so they actually have a mini version of the planter that I loved. This is so cute and tiny. It's just like a really small planter. It'd be perfect for a succulent, but it's really, really nice. Actually, it doesn't have a price on it, but we got a price scanner. $8 for the little cute mini planter. They also have these cute berry bowls. I've never seen these before. It's like a mini strainer, perfect for berries. Just rinse them, let them go. That is such a cute idea. I've never seen anything like that. This little berry bowl also doesn't have a price, so back to the scanner. $5 for the little berry bowl. Bunch of new like Easter placemats. These are really cute. Green on the other side. Then they have some little like melamine plastic plates, like bunny shaped ones, yellow checker, that sort of thing. They do have a kitchen rug that matches the little placemat and then some different little runners. They have these like ceramic little egg shaped plates as well, so these ones are glass. They have blue, more of like a lime colored one, and then a pink one. They have this pretty wooden little like egg holder toboggan type thing, an egg platter. This is really pretty, holds 12 eggs. I really like that. And then I found this, this little like waffle maker that is a bunny one. They do one for every single holiday, but this one is adorable. They have these little egg holders that are wooden. They honestly match perfect with like all the Studio McGee stuff, and my Target has like quite a few of them, actually. Okay, a bunch of new like spring plateware. This is really, really pretty. It is threshold, this little platter, and it's honestly just spring. Could be used all year round, and then there is a little cake stand that goes with it. It does have some like distressed detailing. This is so pretty. Absolutely love this and look guys they have some more of the blue glassware so they have these tiny little cups 
Those are threshold, they're actually not hearth in hand. And then a pitcher that goes with it. This little candy dish is perfect. It has a little lid and it looks like a basket, but it's ceramic. It perfectly matches with that other stuff that I just showed you. Threshold as well, that's so awesome. For spring towels, they do have this one that says happy spring and then comes with the pink, checkered, green, yellow plaid on the back. And then this one, which kind of reminds me of the dollar spot one, but it's roosters in the dollar spot, more teal and then just a really teal, plain, really like simple Easter kitchen towels, and these are $6 each. I really like this one, this one's really nice. They also have these bath towels, someone stuck this over here, um, but this is an embroidered towel with bunnies that says, Happy Spring. A bunch of little like plastic plates, bowls, that sort of thing, these cute little like flower bowls. All of this is melamine, it feels like, but they have a bunch of different colorways, and they each have these little like coordinating egg holders, which is so cute, and these really cute little plastic cake stands which are perfect for like a Hobby Lobby shelf or to decorate a hutch. This mask looks so ridiculously big, but they're even still stocking like so much stuff. So I'm trying not to be in anybody's way. I don't know, maybe I should have waited another day, but the restock was technically Valentine's Day and today, you know, p moving the veil, today's the day after Valentine's Day. So I thought that it would be done, but I don't know, look at all this stuff that they're still putting out. Like all these boxes, Easter mini seasonal. Easter mini, but the date was for the 14th. But I just know there's like so much stuff for them to put out, but all of this stuff is for Easter. Just found these other kitchen towels too. These ones are really cute as well. I love the little like floral one that it comes with. These are really cute. I would actually consider getting these. I like the yellow embroidered detail on the bottom too. I just love this like limey yellow color. I feel like a lot of people probably don't like it, but it's one of my faves right now. Some more bathroom hand towels. You could use these in the kitchen too, but it's over in the bathroom section now. This like pink and green plaid one. This green one with an embroidered bunny. The happy spring one that we just found over in the kitchen section. And then this florally one, which is more of like the waffle texture, which is my personal favorite. And they have really pretty soap dispensers for the spring. They have a plaid one. They have a really, really nice bunny one. They also have this white florally one that has bunnies on it. Kind of wish it didn't have bunnies in it because this would be pretty for like all year round. And then this pink one, which could be pretty for all year round, doesn't have any like specific Easter decor on it. Okay, now we're heading over to like where the Valentine's Day stuff was. I have seen a bunch of like Easter candy, but I'm hoping to find Easter decor. I will show you guys everything I find. Okay, a little bit bare, but there is some stuff. It's all spritz. This happy spring sign, I feel like they had this last year. Somebody let me know if you shopped the spring decor here last year, but I'm pretty sure they had this last year. It's really cute, it just says happy spring and it looks like a little like white picket fence. Then there are a couple wreaths. This one's so pretty, it's like an ombre color rainbow all the way around and that is also $15. Then there is this one, which is more of like yarn and like flowers and stuff. And that one is $15 as well. I haven't seen this bunny wreath. This one's really cute. It's all just like little mini colored bunnies. It is the Spritz brand again. Some have different like textures on them, but they're all made of felt. And then it just has like a little wood thing behind it with little pom poms. And this is $8. That one's really nice. Then we have a garland. So this one says happy Easter like that. It has like little like eggs and bunnies and it comes with everything you need. And it is felt. Seems like pretty good quality and that is $8. This is so freaking cute. This little like Easter egg tree. This is $15 as well. Some of the eggs are plain. Some of the eggs are patterned. I think I need that. <laughs> it fits right in the cup holder. These are really cute too. They're these like wooden eggs. They are $8, super, super pretty pattern. They match perfectly with like all the other spritz stuff this year, but they're just really pretty and floral and I really like them. A few more like egg options. These are smaller than those, but they're painted eggs as well. This one is $5, it has a little girl holding a yellow egg and then this one has a little boy bunny who's like on a little egg hunt with a cute pattern on the back and then this one has a pattern on the back as well. And like I said, these are $5 a piece. Here is a little happy Easter sign, just a little wooden bunny for $5. I feel like that's a really good deal. This Easter sign is adorable. It is wood, just says it in pastel with little polka dots and it is $8. Look how cute it is. Another new little sign says he is risen. Oh, it can be like hanging or it has a little stand on the back. This is $5. Love the colors. Then they have these little like bunnies that are riding in a bike with little like carrots, just a little like flag on the back. I don't see his 
little girl counterpart but I'll definitely keep checking back because I'm definitely missing some stuff here then there's this three-tiered metal tray this is really really cute it's scalloped it's just white kind of reminds me of target dollar spot but this is $15 they have these really cute little like figurines they actually feel pretty heavy like they're weighted in the feet and he has like a little basket so there's this little guy and then there's this one who is actually sitting and she's just holding a little flower and then there's this one as well he has a little basket of eggs these are absolutely adorable and they are five dollars a piece perfect for like a Hobby Lobby shelf or a little tiered tray just to add more texture like a linen-y texture or just a little bit of fun character alrighty so then they have these little like nesting eggs and the little one is like this little chick and they all just fit inside of each other this is $15 as well so you could stack them all together or you could use them all as separate little decor things I feel like that's a pretty good deal they have some really cute fluffy like bunny ears it looks like they light up as well these are five dollars then they have these ones for three dollars that have the yellow gingham but these do not light up then this is like a little three-parter sign. This is only $8? Are you kidding? This is such a good deal. You get this three-part hanging sign. Has a little egg, says Happy Easter, has a little bunny, and it is literally $8. I feel like that is a steal. Then they have these self-adhesive gems, so basically just like window clings, or you could stick them to your fridge. These are actually really cute. I like the colors too. They're a bit more like pastel-y. And I really, really like that. I feel like that's definitely like a trend. And these are only three bucks, which I feel like is a good deal. And then they have these Happy Easter ones as well. They have this pretty like woven basket and has like the little color ribbons running through it. It does have a little handle. And then they have this deviled egg platter. So I guess if you were gonna take them to like a get together or something, this is just a cute way to carry them. Almost like a cupcake holder, but this one is specifically for deviled eggs. And it's like a mint green color, actually more of like a lime green four or five dollars they do have a few Easter baskets not too much yet but they have this spritz like rope one which is really really cute it has like two little ears little rosy cheeks and it's just a little like rope basket this is nine dollars and then this one which is literally the cutest thing ever it has rainbows for the handles I'm obsessed with this it is nine dollars as well this is so cute. They have these more like traditional baskets. So this is like a wooden woven one with like a blue plaid on the inside. Then they do have the pink version, which has some candy on the inside. Who the heck put this in here? A Twix egg. But this one is like pink and teal flowers. That is adorable. Honestly, this kind of stuff could be used for storage in like a little boy or a little girl's room or a playroom. All of this stuff would be really cute. I think this one is like a little bit more obvious that it's an Easter basket, but I'm just not done obsessing over this, to be honest with you. I almost missed this one. They also have this Easter basket, which has all different colored little eggs. So, so cute. Probably one you also don't want to use all year round, but this is absolutely adorable. Perfect size for a little kid's Easter basket. More traditional baskets, like a white one and just like a woven brown one. And then they have some like different colors of Easter eggs starting to trickle in, Easter egg kits. These ones actually already come pre-filled, which is kind of cool. Jelly bean and sticker filled. And then just some like empties that you can fill on your own, as well as a little like crinkle Easter grass. They have that in a couple different colors and they have paper as well as the plastic kind so just depends what you like they are starting to put out all the little like Easter egg decorating kits they have like character ones and then they have like just the plain sets with like the colors and just little tools that you might need this is fun too they have stencil decorating kits you like color it in with this and then I guess you don't dip it you just like color it in using the stencil they also have fake little eggs that's pretty cool dyeable egg kit this is definitely what's most familiar to me this little like hexagon dipper with a little pencil if you want to write something on it but you don't want it to stick to the egg that's what's most familiar to me for sure just the little tabs with like vinegar and hot water that's how we used to do it starting to put out little like Easter food items found this rogue little Easter tablecloth some sprinkles some spring sprinkles this is what actually what caught my eye this little whisk that looks like a carrot is this not the cutest thing ever it is by Wilton it just caught my eye I just really thought that was so cute they also have some like mini cookie cutter sets so these come with six all different shapes and then that one comes with three and those ones are a bit bigger but both packs are three dollars these little Easter kitchen towels are really nice I love how colorful they are and they have just another little like yellow towel so you get like a waffly type one which you guys know I love and then a more like traditional one which is like has little squares all over it but I really love how colorful these are and they're only five dollars I feel like that's a really good deal okay we're gonna play a little game I'm gonna show like iconic Easter candies and you're gonna tell me what you think about them down below 
If I don't show a candy that you love or that you hate, definitely let us know down below in the comments. Okay, we can of course start with none other than Peeps. We're gonna go as traditional as they come at first. Peeps, what do you think about them? Personally, I hate them. <laughs> I can't stand like the stickiness. I don't like to just eat marshmallow like that. I love fluff, but I just don't know. I hate Peeps. I don't like the little bird shape or the bunny shape. Not a fan. They have a bunch of weird flavors here too. They have like raspberry delight, they have hot tamale, party cake, cotton candy, which like in theory sounds like something I would like, but I just don't like to eat marshmallows. But also like if you do eat peeps and you do like peeps, like is there a difference between the bird shape and the bunny shape? Like is there a better shape to eat? Let us know down below. Okay, next up we have Cadbury cream eggs or Cadbury caramel eggs. What do we think about them? Personally, I would eat one, but I'm not going to choose it over my queen. Cadbury mini eggs, which are like the hard shell chocolate ones. This is my all-time favorite Easter candy. I have to wait super long to start buying them because I'm absolutely addicted to them. This is my personal favorite Easter candy, but let me know what you think about Cadbury eggs down below. Okay, moving on. Next up we have Robin's eggs, which are like Whoppers. They are like malted milk balls on the inside. I feel like a lot of people don't like these. Personally, I really like them. I wouldn't buy them over other Easter candies, but if they're there, I'm definitely gonna eat them. Definitely grew up in a big like malt friendly house, like malted milkshakes, Whopper malted milk balls, that sort of thing. Do you like Robin's eggs? Let us know. Okay, now you're probably gonna be like, Katie, this is the same thing, but it's not. Robin's eggs have a crunchy shell. These ones have like the chocolatey, like melty shell on the outside that you can sink your teeth into. Do you like either of these? Do you even know what I'm talking about? Personally, I prefer these ones, the ones that have the milk chocolate shell on the outside. These are personally my favorite. Honestly, I feel like most people just don't like malted milk balls, but let me know. Okay, and ending with a bang, we're gonna end with jelly beans. There's so many different types and brands of jelly beans, but my personal favorite are the classic Brax Jelly Bird eggs. They are just like the big traditional jelly beans. The orange one is my favorite, closely followed by the yellow one. But yeah, that's my favorite. But there are all different kinds, like different candy brands make their own version, like Jolly Ranchers. I know Starburst has their own jelly beans that are really popular. And these I heard about are new this year. Sour Patch Watermelon Jelly Beans. Apparently they're supposed to be really good. But are you a fan of jelly beans? Like, ugh, who wants that? <laughs> dun 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 dun. Wanna give an honorable mention to Hershey's Cookies and Cream Eggs? Those are also my favorite. They're like the little ones that you unwrap and they're the Hershey's Cookies and Cream Chocolate, but like I feel like those aren't like very iconic. I wanted to just stick to like the icons. But which one's your favorite? Which one's your least favorite? Or did I not name it? Definitely let us know. Let's talk about candy in the comments. I love Easter candy. Honestly, I just love candy. I have the biggest sweet tooth ever. It's a problem, but let us know. Let's talk about it. Alrighty, you guys. Well, that is going to be it for me today. I really hope that you love seeing all of the 2021 Easter decor that they have at Target. I do have a couple more videos down below showing a lot of the new spring decor and the Easter dollar spot stuff, so definitely make sure that you check those out in the links down below. But if you love this video and you haven't yet, definitely make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't yet, but you find yourself continuously watching my videos. Join the fam. It's free and it like means everything to me, so please consider hitting the subscribe button if you haven't yet, but that is going to be it for me. See you next time. Bye, guys.